Today we're on the nursery and we're going to be harvesting the first of our sweet potatoes. Now we planted these earlier in the summer and it's now the 9th of October so I'm really looking forward to basically harvesting them, getting them to the kitchen and eating the first of this year's harvest. The first thing I'm going to do, and I've raised the bag up onto this wheelbarrow but I'm going to remove the foliage because it will just make it easier. So I've got my knife here, I'm going to gather this all up and I'm really only doing this just so you've got the best possible impression. So pull it all clear, there we are being careful at all times. Now that will make it a little easier when we come to open the bag. All of the foliage can be discarded at this point, but of course that can go onto the compost heap, that will rot down through the course of the winter. So I'll pop that there, we'll deal with that later. So here we are, we've got this grow pod heaving full of these delicious tubers. The next stage is to get my knife again. Now I'm going to actually cut the bag open. You don't need to do this of course, but I'm going to trim the bag down and this will give us the best possible impression so we can see exactly what's going on in here. Now this is the really exciting time so hopefully in here we're going to be discovering some delicious sweet potatoes. There's the first. And the next one. Oh my goodness, that's a really, really good one. Let's see what else is in here. So all of this is coming from just that one grow pod. Let's pop those there for a moment. Of course, every single part of this root is completely edible. Even the small pieces will still scrub up, perhaps peel them, get them in the oven, and a bit of olive oil and roast them. You really, really will have the tastiest crop imaginable. Here we are. Okay, so here is my first crop of delicious, fresh, sweet potatoes. They're all shapes and sizes. Of course, you can boil these, you can make delicious sweet mash, you can roast them. They're so versatile in the kitchen, but most of all, they're absolutely delicious and they've grown, been grown in your garden. So once you've got these harvested, there are two ways. Of course, you can eat them fresh and they're absolutely delicious when you do that. If you want to keep them longer, as you would with normal potatoes, you need to cure them, which means allowing the skins to set. So if I just get my nail, you can see here that the skins are quite soft at this point. If you want to keep them for longer, lay them out in a warm, light position for two or three days. It will just make the skins harden and then they'll keep for even longer. If you'd like to buy your sweet potatoes, this is the perfect time to do it. Press the buy now button. It will take you just a few moments and there are really easy to follow steps. We always confirm safe receipt of your order by return of email so you know your order's been received and processed perfectly. We'll ship your plants to you as advertised so you can get them planted, get them growing and you really can be looking forward to a bumper crop just like this later on this year.